uh, my advice would be just do high sex. If you're in the service and coaching or agency industry, don't have to think twice, just do it. <laughs>
Hmm. Not to say their work is not important, not in any manner. Hmm. And we still continue to hold everybody very closely with, with who has trust in us. Got but that's so, finding that ecosystem to be able to serve bigger people. Hmm. Hmm. Finally, like making that structure of a team where you can handle the 400 crore client. 100%. It's not just about the skill you have, but the skill your team members have because you can't that's do the whole work. Yes. Makes sense. Uh, what What was your first impression of IC or how did you find me? <laughs> I I closed in one impression, one click and, uh, you know, one payment. Oh. I never saw your second ad until after I had, you know, signed up for the 299 workshop. I'm like, and I have been wanting to uh, uh, power up in AI mm. as an agency. That mm. was at the back of my, my mind. We are also in AdWorld conferences. Mm. We are on there on the virtual videos and we have been mm. doing a lot of learning there also. Mm. This has been so structured in the area of AI. Uh, that we are proud of it now that I took it up and I took that step, mm. took that risk of 299. Mm. And you found me through ads? I definitely found you through ads. Mm. And I was like, what is this? Just 299? Okay, let's just go and try. But I'm mm. promising myself I'm not going through any upsells. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, ISEX happened. Finally, ISEX happened. And I cancelled upon the other plan which I had of, thought of, I had almost finalized of going to Bangkok and attending the AdWorld Pro. And I was like, no, I, I will put this money here. Mm -hmm. And that risk turned out to be really good. Yes, yes. Um, so, you know, you, you told me that you're running the business for 15 years and then something changed. The courage came up. The team is organized. You can take bigger clients. My, I have two questions over here. The number one question is, like, what changed? And what? how are you feeling when you were going through the changes? Because change is rough, right? You said that it was like an injection. So, like, how are you feeling through it? And what were the changes? Uh, so, so the correction came in, uh, you know, a mind game. Hmm. I have the skills. I know it all. What is still missing? Uh, uh, what was missing was that formula for the ecosystem that you teach. That sank in. And I realized I am not going to make money like this. Hmm. I'm going to be only burning out. It's, you know... Uh, and to the horrors of every agency owner has this nightmare, I guess, because let's just shut down and do something else or not do anything. You know, we always get these kind of nightmares once in a while. And then I got it. Okay, this is the formula which will help me sail through and which will help me uh, get a bigger chunk of what I desire uh, from my life and be able to contribute more. Not just bringing home money, but just being able to contribute more. So coming back to your question, the injection, the transformation was filled with a lot of, you know, anxiety. Ki chalega ki nahi, kaam aayega ki nahi, bookings aayengi ki nahi, OTO hoga ki nahi. All those questions kept, kept running. But uh, uh, I have had some previous transformation mindset games, so uh, learnings. So I, I, I just uh, reassured myself, if I'm doing this, let me just surrender and do whatever Himanshu and his team is telling me to do. And I did that. I was very light-footed, delegated the task to a lot of my team members, hmm. ye karo, ye karo, ye karo, took hmm. time off my calendar and dedicated time here. But it was not easy. Hmm. It is difficult. It is difficult. It's simple to follow, but it's difficult to it, execute. It was because... overwhelming, yes. Hmm. Hmm. The three, days, three days would not have sufficed to uh, put all this into action. Makes sense. And and what were your like favorite tools and templates when you were going through that journey, when you were going through that change? What were your favorite part of tools and templates? So, you know, Himanshu, the best part would come to me a little, it would dawn upon us a little later. Hmm. But uh, that aha moment, that breakthrough point was the ecosystem that works for agency or in the consulting hmm. and the service industry, that triangle hmm. that took my heart away, that took my breath away, that put me into like, okay, this is going to work now. Wonder moment. That was my wonder moment. Hmm. And besides that, uh, it took some practice to implement and see the results come from and mm. this of course the sales script everybody's talking about it and i still remember when you came on the q a call you're like himanshu when ebook launch your ebook nahi chal raha abhi abhi mein kya karu when the ebook started working himanshu ebook chal raha par ot calls nahi aa raha then the ot calls were it was like a gradual progress but yes. it turned out to be in a month or two to be working out for you yes um one more thing i am curious to know is that you know it's let's say you're charging client at 20k a month mm. And then recently you closed your client for one lakh a month. Then again one more client for one lakh a month. Then again one client of forty five thousand a month. 
how did you get that courage to even charge that much? Like, if someone is listening to this and you want to advise them, what is your advice to them to make them also charge high ticket? A, we undervalue ourselves a lot. Hmm. B, we are not talking to the right people. We're not try talking to the right people who would get the right value from us. They are not, uh, they are risk averse. Uh, so we're selling a Mona Lisa in a tier three village. Yes, yes. Like that. And so we need to find a correction in what am I a best suit for? Like you said, there's a market for everything. There's a market for 200 rupees also, 2, crore, 2 CR also. You need to find your market and just fit in there. So I need to find the right fit. I have been fitting in with, uh, let's say, in looking good. I've been fitting in with, uh, in the box. Hmm. So would... how did your earlier clients look like versus compared to the new clients? Like what change do you see in them? Like were they, like earlier clients were like offline businesses or online business? Like what are the new ones? So the beauty is some of them are the, still the same. The courage is the only difference. Mm. I uh, We pitched to two clients uh, in the past week who are our existing client for a good one year or more. And one year in agency is like, okay, they're mm. solid. Good, they're good, good, right good. Now. To them, we went back and we pitched uh, another pain point of them theirs. And it's like, we are game. And, and then I realized, oh my God, I have not been serving this pain point to them. And I had not continued to serve this pain point, solve a problem for this pain point for some more time, I would have lost them. So, you know, existing pool of people also have the same pain, mm -hmm. but they may, they are also on the lookout for a solution. And maybe as an agency, me or someone is not able to attend to that. That mm -hmm. was different. And of course, uh, major difference was how now it is a pull effect rather than a push effect. People are coming and wanting to talk to us. Mm. That has mm. changed. Like mm. we have our own lead generation mechanism. We have the beautiful mechanisms where we get leads every day. Uh, I stopped those leads because uh, this was coming in. And uh, now that the way people would speak to us is, is an authority building automatically has happened with what you have taught us. That mind shift has happened. Mm. They mm. want to buy it. We don't want to sell it now. So you were looking at earlier as, you know, I need to run behind people to sell them. Now it's your okay. thing has changed and your systems, obviously the sales process we have made in this such a way that yes. people are coming to you. Yes. Makes sense. Since you're charging high ticket, you need to also change your services, right? Change your product and how do you deliver on time delivery, all these things. What changes you did in the service, which made them, uh, you know, a opt in for easily, like convenience care. Yes, a lot. So uh, we we create we were already always everywhere we know everything Miru bhi malume Trello bhi malume everything malume but like you said how to use the tool hmm. that made a difference hmm. so we created uh, beautiful Trello processes out of whatever we already knew put everything together and uh, uh, and we even cut cut down on unnecessary things ki ye nahi chahiye nahi chahiye hatao so there was a curtail of processes which are not needed redefining the processes. Hmm. That really helped a lot. And my team's uh, saving 30% of the time. I just took a feedback from them wow. that in the last two months, tell me with the help of AI, what are you, how much time are you saving or how is your work, how much, by how much percentage is your work fast, faster? Everybody replied close to 30%. We are able to do our work faster. So my agency 30% faster. It means I'm earning 30% more and it will have an exponential effect on revenues, not arithmetic. Correct. It would and be not linear. It would not be linear. It would be exponential. And so it would make me 30% more efficient, uh, you know, and the trainings have become super easy. Hmm. Uh, tools are there, templates are there, copy, paste, apply. And and trust me, uh, this is very interesting. I should tell you this. Uh, I have done digital market Ryan Dice's courses. I have list wall of certificates. Then people often also tell me you've done a lot of certificates, but it's about delivery. I was like, yes, of course it is. And when you taught us funnels, I went back and looked at my wall. When did I do this certificate? This this certificate, when did I do it? It said 2020 or 2018. I'm like, my certificate came in 2018 or something. I would have studied it even earlier. Trust me, I didn't apply, even apply 10% of what Ryan told. I couldn't apply it. Yeah, because you're not ready for it yet. I'm not, I'm not ready for it. And with you, we applied it in three days. I was like, this is funnel. And now when people tell me, ah, yes, we have funnels, we have our own funnels. I was like, yes. Till the time you know what, how a funnel looks like, this is not funnel marketing. And trust me, I am doing truly funnel marketing now and I have the ability to implement it for our valued partners. So it's like we do a lot of courses, everything we do, but we don't know how to plug and play everything like the 
कॉगल्स इन अ मशीन एक कॉगल रुकता है तो सब रुक जाता है सो यू नो नाउ आई नो हाउ टू फिट इन एंड रन इट ऑटोमेटिकली makes sense so now you have all the funnel templates email templates where you will copy paste copy paste copy paste kaam kar yes. so absolutely we knew us ki ye mujhe aata hai email alag se aata hai social alag se hame aata hai you know lead gen alag se kya hota hai website mein opt ins banaye the kabhi apne hamare liye bhi kisi aur ke liye bhi par wo opt in list building kaise karega automatically ye aaj tak kabhi nahi crack kiya tha and wo bhi pay karke pe karke we would have our lead gen system work for us never and so i went back and i revised ryan's courses and that's how i reworked my you know i looked back at every pointer what you had said and it actually fitted well now it makes sense now when i look back so now you are actually ready as a person to understand what was earlier taught yes. because you had the templates and everything aligned Oh, that time it was just theoretical. Hmm. Those courses that you learn from everywhere, not to discount anybody's uh, uh, efforts, even uh, international marketers, uh, we we don't know how to apply it. We are not employable. If I had taken those skills and went for a job, not that I get a funnel marketing job, they do. I get it. No one will hire me. But now you have applied it. Everyone would hire you because you can show them. You know, Vera. You can show the work instead of telling the work. Hundred percent. Makes sense. What uh, you you told that you know clients are now coming to you instead of you going to them. What yes. change did you do in your sales process? Because earlier, you lead gen करते थे आपने बताया then you stopped it. Now mm-hmm. leads are coming in while paying you. So like how does that work? Um. So the lead magnet is working very well. You know, funnel is working very well, and uh, the authority building is happening. So uh, explain the audience what is the funnel that you have made because they don't have any idea. Okay. Okay. So the ebook that people would purchase. and uh, they would have the trust okay when you purchase a book you have your authority settled like i've done this marketing i've written my book also i've never got a chance to publish it but close to publishing so a book helps you in authority building immediately the ease with which we create ebooks and roll it out for people to benefit from it in a genuine ma- manner not uh, you know giving them something that is not useful for them at the price it is very much useful for them they would buy the book they would have an opportunity to book a call with me which is at again a throwaway price 299 book a call who does a con- which consultant does a call in 299 makes sense nobody my uh, minimum consulting fees would be 5000 for a uh, month for a for a uh, hour and that is also very very underpriced i believe mm-hmm. you know depending on where we are talking it is much more anywhere any consultant would not charge less than 5000 for one hour of one to one Two nine nine. What is making a difference is just that they they are coming out of their shell to buy this in two nine nine. It's not where I break my mindset. It's where my the person who's coming coming to talk to me is breaking his mindset. Okay, I've paid to her. It means it's, it's worth my time. It's worth my time. And when I would talk even much more sense and for a longer period in free because it's a lead and I have paid for the lead. they think they it's it's just you know it's it's okay it's free it's available so so earlier it was that a salesman is showing up today it is a expert showing up because yes. they have paid for the call yes yes so the, there is a huge uh, a breakthrough in the person's mindset who's coming across the table mm-hmm. to talk mm-hmm. as you were saying you need to get to the right market the right market is now finding you it's and they're ready to pay for a call as well so you know it's a high quality lead 100% So you give ebooks on the front end as we have taught. Then you have the OTO call, and then OTO calls you send the high ticket. Yes. And uh, do you have a good conversion rate on the OTO call to high ticket, or people not converting? What's the scene over there? People are converting. People are converting, and of course, everything would take some time. Yeah, makes the sense. The OTOs are converting for me. The mm-hmm. OTOs via the funnels is 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 uh is an a continuous process that mm-hmm. we have to work on. Mm-hmm. And, But and the best some... part. we have yeah. very good prospects li- aligned for otos in the coming week so those prospects uh, otherwise we would be chasing them and dropping our credibility to rock bottom but now they are looking forward to the call and the best part about this is you are recovering your money while spending on marketing that means you have only big budgets yes so yes. whatever ad spend you do that comes back on the same day or maybe 3 days 4 days yes, back it does it does Crazy. what was your happiest day after joining us Mega Minds was very uh, mm-hmm. high energy, and mm-hmm. after joining ISEX, uh, 
I don't know. Everything was very. It was. I was equally excited throughout. Mm. Uh, but then when you said, yeah, I when I told you my challenges that you know I have these challenges in the Q and A, and you said, yeah, just come. That made me happy. And this moment, that that assurance, that trust, that yes, uh, you know you've I'm, I'm you've been taken care of. You're there. That made me very happy. That mm. trust was enough. Hmm. Hmm. Makes sense. Tell me something about your coach. Like, how is your relation with the coach? That private coach we have given. Yes. Have you been working uh, with him or her? And like, how was the experience? Yes, the coaches are lovely. The earlier coach was there, Monica. She uh, she actually have, was able to give me a lot of perspectives of an agency owner. Like that, all the pain points that we have, she would be able to connect with me. I was she was very much relatable to me, and the kind of solutions she gave me, it gave me immediate power. Power comes with implementation. So whatever Monica said, I wrote it down and I implemented. Whatever I couldn't, I would do it the next week. And I would diligently wait to take the call and not miss any call. Hmm. So whatever expertise, whatever background they have, I was uh, non-judgmental about anything. And I just was there like, uh, you know, uh, surrendering and taking what they have to offer for me and work towards what they have already told me. Hmm. It really worked. And to, they were upfront and told me, Monica would tell me, this will not work for you. Please go and edit it. I was like, okay, I need hmm. this correction now. Then there was a swap in the coach. Uh, we had another coach. So Sachet also was brought in different energies. He uh, he uh, was like very patient and calm. And he was like, no problem. It will work. Wait. And he would the, the way he would reassure would make my stress go away. And not be overwhelmed with what I'm implementing, and uh, and and nevertheless, he was very resourceful in connecting me to whomsoever I needed, Karan or anybody. He would channelize and find me the solutions. Hmm. And sometimes, you know, like how Sachet told me, go and look at these numbers, and we would discuss it with Karan and other people in the team and get back to you what is working, not working. As agency owners, do you think we don't understand any of the numbers? We understand more numbers than anybody else. Any kind of ratios we understand hook ratio, this ratio, that ratio, CTR, CPM, everything is like at the tip of our tongues. But then sometimes we got so complicated and lost in serving others, we forget simple things that these four metrics, if I put them together, I will know what to do. Yeah. But then simple analysis also becomes very overwhelming for us to do. Because you are in stress. So you can't complicate your business. Makes yes. Sense. yes. Mm -hmm. That is where a mentor comes in and uh, they make sure that uh, we are balanced. And not lost in a sea of things. So, Deepika, now you're scaling your agency. It's good. You're getting clients, high ticket clients. What are you working on right now? What's the next plan? Build build the ecosystem. I had the courage to start talking about uh, to, out to people in, uh, in, in the services that we are not there already. Like we're already working towards making softwares and, you know, making a, a SaaS for ourselves and being able to be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, monetize it very quickly. Uh, I, I started looking towards those uh, synchronies and uh, we're no longer scared of uh, uh, any kind of disturbances in the team because mm. we know where are the backups. Mm. We know where to hire. Uh, we know where to look out for if we, there is a fallout in the team. And, uh, and the other exciting thing is... Uh, Yes, implementing the ecosystem, implementing the triangle for agency owner is the next thing on the table. Makes sense. And at IC, we not only talk about, you know, how much money you have made, what progress you had, but we also, you know, focus a lot in this community on uh, what results our clients and students are getting. What results your clients are getting? Like if they're paying high ticket, what are they getting as results? Tremendous. Uh, so one client told us uh, in May thirty twenty thirty thousand, they made two million. Wow. Revenue worth two million. Today we spoke to one client where uh, uh, spend of mayor not even ten thousand in this December, they have made fifty thousand already. Wow. So they are testing it, you know, right now, and uh, so our services are worth it see when we, we know what to implement and uh, uh, now with the help of your entire gamut of ecosystem that you have given us in the inside the course uh, our clients are able to claim these kind of results in like less than two days three days 
to sales closed. Yeah, I understand they have their entire ecosystem. They have their online store. But if then the acquisition cost is as low as this in an industry where you're selling premium electronics and you know that the person will come back in one year to buy an iPhone tomorrow for an appliance, third day for a dryer, you're selling all, uh, you know, upsell uh, appliances to them in the same family. Uh, there's a whole lifetime value that my customers are getting. So I'm explaining it to them. It's not just one sale that you've got. Now mark this customer and see what is the lifetime value that he gives you. Correct. And if you look back and see the customer acquisition, it's nothing. Nothing. The cost Experience. is nothing. It's Experience. peanuts. Yes. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. To the extent I even went forward and changed some systems in my husband's business. <laughs> I made him hire an EA and uh, you delegate out. Oh, so you have given the EA module? Yes. EA module. Yeah. Very in very subtle ways. RGA, non-RGA, everything. Uh, Free uh, 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 Yes. So, but then, yes getting the value of it. RGA and RGA hmm. is also really helping me balance out. So I am a person who would more than numbers who talk about transformations hmm. that I'm going through. So this has been a different uh, game of transformation in three months that I am going through. And the results would come in the next one year, two year, three year, five years. Yeah, it's just the start. This two and a half, five years is nothing. It's just the start. But yeah. once yes. you build agency of, you know, grow to grow in, in six months, that's where the real game yes, people, start. people talk uh, or are get very influenced by numbers. But I would like to bring my perspective that it's a transformation that you're going through in these three months is crazy. Mm, makes sense. Um, you know, there are a lot of people in the industry who are teaching how to get clients. Mm. What ice made stand out in front of you? Because you told, you know, you're going to Bangkok and you were going to all these places. And what made I stand out? You were like, let me bet. Like, what was your point of understanding that bet? That in whole uh, trust of Indianization, I would say hmm. that, uh, you know, uh, we, we absorb things from the US, but uh, we're not able to implement them. Like digital marketers learn a lot from Neil Patel's and Ryan Deese's and Molly Pittman's. But, uh, you know, to plug and play it in an Indian environment is very different from an international or US environment. The way they do marketing is very different from where, how we look at it. Hmm. They, did, they spoke about funnels some 20 years ago. What I heard that... In Mumbai is perhaps a few years behind in terms of marketing. And Northeast is further few years behind when it comes to marketing. So, and that's quite true. The way US yeah. marketing is very different. So, yeah, international nahi chamne wala hai, hajum nahi hone wala hai hame. Hame chahiye kuch desi, kuch himanshu style wala ikdam straightforward to the point, go and implement it and then talk. Karo to jano. That what made ice. Uh, that is what makes you difference. And of course, the power, the speed at which you teach, at which your team teaches, and uh, or helps us implement. And how you plug and play. Um, not just uh, one email marketing. Se diya to, this just email marketing. No, if we, I always take a bird's eye view. I try to go and look at these nine weeks, ten weeks from bird's eye view. What is happening, boss, at each week? And it's very, very dynamic. You have the way you have plugged in and synchronized this curriculum itself is a, uh, I would say, the USP. Hmm. It's an engineered way of getting yeah, someone yeah. to go there. 100%. So when you talk about mindsets, when you talk about uh, uh, personas in so much detail, we have read personas for two to three, three hours, right from college till now, never implemented it the way we did it in this course. Uh, that is what is making a difference. The plug and play that you have done, the engineering of the course is what makes a difference. Of course, with the uh, everyday uh, team behind it that runs to make sure that it's seamless and it's being delivered. Mm, completely makes sense. And so there are a lot of people in your batch, let's say, who have not got results as fast as you. It results, I'm sure of that. But they've not got as fast as you. What is your advice to those people who have not got results as fast as you? Outsource what you're not good at. Mm -hmm. People hang on a lot. To, yes, hang on a lot to. Uh, I want to do it. I will do it. Uh, let's say if I am a professional who doesn't have time to be able to implement it, then outsource it. Baad mein seek lena. Aapke paas available hai. RGA on NRG. Wahi pe laga lo. Or agar aapko ye nahi karna hai, to kisi ko bhi dhoondo aur wo karwa lo. Ki ek channel chalna zaruri hai. 
ये फनल चलना बहुत जरूरी है ये फर्स्ट जितना जल्दी फनल को क्रैक करोगे अप टिल योर ओटीओ देन द गेम बिगिन टिल द ओटीओ डम द गेम डिगिन यू नो इट मे इन अ वे बट जो किक लगता है एड्रिलियन रश hmm. आता है that happens when oto starts coming and you start taking those sales script then all the anxiety all the fear everything goes all the barrier comes out i had this oto call the other day where everybody is everything is going very well and then it pivoted in a different direction when i was taking the closing and then i shook i shook off and i dropped the price you know but that's a learning yeah. yes i don't sit through a number of sales script or if i don't sit through a number of webinars which i'm yet to do it will not work mm. so for my advice to the batch people would be don't be so hung up with the uh, funnel implementation get it done do it diy do it with someone or outsource it completely of course keep an eye on now you know the process how it happens how does it matter if you are doing it with your own hands or not make the oto start coming mm-hmm. so you would say that the take that risk of spending money on facebook and and we don't ask a lot we ask 200 per day not more than that if 100. someone can't spend 200 per day like it's a it's a question on their entrepreneur it's a question on are they entrepreneur because if risking the 200 bucks is too difficult for you are you really an entrepreneur yes. and and, and me being a uh, campaign manager for seven eight years on meta my campaign took three weeks to start giving me sales of ebooks and now the sales are there i sleep and in the morning the sales are there my team goes home and sunday also they have to go and see okay some sheets have come or some things have it's become automatic automatic yeah. but it took 3 weeks for us also to kick off our sales i remember you change your landing page you change your otp page i remember that you are doing continuous improvements yeah. so experiment so the, are so, very so the advice for people would be that launch of an as soon as possible once that is set up everything would roll out from there the moment launch, would be there launch it monitor it to week it to week it also fast i was very light footed i was overwhelmed in the first uh, few weeks because i was non stoply doing more ebooks i was non stoply doing uh, non stoppingly do- experimenting at the copywriting stage mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we have Thank now five much. funnels five wow. or six funnels we have already wow La- six landing pages we are having right now and all six are playing wow that's crazy like going from like zero to six months in like three to four weeks 100% that's crazy that's of course crazy. i i would give the credit to my team they help me in implementation but if my team can implement it for myself i can also implement it for others mm. so that's the piece of advice to whomsoever not telling ki, kiske paas jana hai aapko jahan theek lagta hai wahan karao kara lo kaam get mm. rolling because uh, as a business